In this short video, I'm going to talk about what to wear when you're doing your bagua, your tai chi, your shingi. Mostly, I'm going to compare the advantages of uniforms to not uniforms and not uniforms to uniforms. So even as you can see, I'm not wearing anything recognizable as a Chinese martial arts uniform. Uniforms do have certain advantages, but they're not 100% advantages. Let's start with them though. Advantage number one is putting a uniform on is a little ritual which will support your practice. You put the uniform on, button it up, ah, I'm going to be practicing now. You're less likely to go out and dig in the garden or do the washing up or, oh, yes, I will go to the pub when you get the call because then you have to change. So you associate your uniform with your practice. It supports your practice. And most of us need all the support we can get in maintaining a regular healthy practice. Second advantage is it will probably be appropriate for your practice in that it'll be loose and you'll be able to move freely, shoulders, legs, and so on. There won't be any kind of issue of how you move because of your uniform. If you're doing very fighty kind of stuff, then having a tough uniform is important. T-shirts get ripped off you. And if you're wearing silk pajamas, they'll get ripped off you too. So it's perfectly appropriate for an internal martial arts practitioner to wear a judo uniform or gi because they're being thrown and they don't want their clothes ripped off them or a rash guard because they're being thrown and they don't want their clothes ripped off them. That's absolutely fine. Advantages for teachers. Another advantage, or oh, an advantage for a teacher is when people come to see your class and everyone's dressed nicely in the same way and moving, doing the same movements, they go, people look at that and go, ah, this is legit because they're wearing the right things that I associate in my mind with a martial arts practice and therefore I can trust them to be good at what they're doing. Think about it though. Just because you're wearing the clothes, does it mean you've got the, the goods? Does it mean you've got the skills? Not really. And actually, you can hide a lot of bad movement with loose flowing Taoist robes. So anyway, but advantage of the teacher, people come along and go, yes, I want to belong to this group of people who seem to belong to each other. And then when you're in it, you go, oh, I belong with these people because we're all dressed the same. It works unconsciously, but it works. You know, if it's a good school, good practice, fine. If it's using the clothes to sell something crap, hmm, not so sure. So I tend to be a little bit distrustful of uniforms for those reasons. Another advantage for a teacher is teachers often sell the uniforms and they make a little bit from selling the uniforms. Sometimes they make quite a lot on selling the uniforms because they charge too much for them. I don't really have a problem with that because lots of teachers struggle to get by teaching and that's, you know, that's fine. Give them a little bit on the side, good. They probably deserve it. Equally, people pay for the uniforms, it creates a kind of commitment for them, they're more likely to come back. So that's another advantage of uniforms, is bringing people back. It's a little, the, the, the extension of the solo practice to the class practice. Disadvantages of uniforms, really I've, I've covered most of them. One which I haven't covered is, what about all the people who look at uniforms and go, yeah, I don't want to wear silk pajamas. I don't want to wear those clothes. I don't want to be a cosplayer in Taoist robes. There's people out there too. And a lot of people who come from a martial arts background where they don't have any kind of formal uniform, where they're just wearing whatever rash guard and geese they can buy, they'll look at it and go, yeah, that's not for me. That's just weird dress up. And I understand that too. I also don't want to need to wear my uniform to practice. I don't want to be in the situation where I'm going, ah, oh, I'd like to practice, but I haven't got my uniform. I want to go on a trip and I have to pack my uniform to go because I want to practice when I'm going, because otherwise I won't be able to practice properly. Now that would be a shame. So I like to practice in clothes which are appropriate for me. In a moment, I will show you my traditional Breton robes for practice in appropriate conditions. Here I am demonstrating Breton Bagua robes, traditional Breton clothes for practicing Bagua. Waterproof top, flexible trousers, and the boots. The boots for mud wading, because here we have mud.
for ritual stuff. 